Happy Friday. Welcome back for another Coffee q and I am excited about today's question because I think it's a question that's uh, burning for a lot of new entrepreneurs. And it reads, what are the best editing apps to help with social and podcasts? So this is a, a pretty loaded question, right? So I'm going to give um, a few apps across a few different functions, right? I'll start with podcasts because there are two apps that I would recommend in particular because I believe that they are very easy to use. Uh, they're very, very affordable or free, right? And I believe that the more you use them, the more savvy you'll become for other things, right? So on the podcast side, I would highly, highly, highly recommend a platform called Riverside FM. Riverside FM. Head to blazegroupllc.com and check out the blog for a direct link and a few comments about riverside.fm. I love this platform because it really feels like you're in a studio, right? Uh, you can run a podcast via video. You can invite guests to come inside of your studio. You can create sound effects such as applause or cheers or laughter or drum rolls when, when um, jokes are made, etc. And the recording quality is really, really good in that once you finish recording, there is a track available for every single speaker. You can download separate tracks and separate video. Why is this important? It's important because when we record on things like Zoom, if more than one person is talking, somebody's mic is muted automatically, right? Just to try to catch the person who is the speaker at the moment. But when you're recording via Riverside.fm and it records everyone on their own track, there is no change in volume, right? So once you're putting it all together and editing, everyone comes through very well, even if everyone is laughing or saying, I know that's right, I know that's right, girl. So the quality is just a lot more crisp. And then I would recommend anchor.com. Honestly, I think they're anchor.fm as well. <laughs> uh, but anchor.fm, and while I'm saying that, I'll be checking, I'll check right now. <clears throat> I like anchor because it makes distribution really, really easy. Uh, and it is, it's anchor.fm. So it makes distribution easy in that once you have the audio that you want to load into Anchor, you can then hit publish and it'll go to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Breaker, and about 13 other platforms automatically, right? And I'm all about ease, I'm all about, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm all about automation. So anchor.fm is absolutely free and it is perfect for distributing your podcast. Now, if you want to do the entire thing free, you can actually use anchor.fm to record your podcast as well. So if you don't need to have separate tracks and video and sound effects and all of these things, you can go into anchor.fm directly and you can record your podcast live. That's with guests um, attending as well, etc. They have an app. So if you want to use the app and be on the go and record your podcast from your phone, right? Using your phone's audio and some headphones, you can absolutely do that. Any of your guests can do the same. Um, and again, it's absolutely free. So Anchor is great. Anchor is free and it's a safe bet regardless, right? You can always start with Anchor and then graduate to other things. But I also like Anchor, like Anchor too, because you can take a video that already exists, drop it into Anchor and it'll strip out the audio only and you can make a podcast episode from that. So it might be a whole lot of content that you already have off the shelf that you can turn into episodes, right? And then not be starting at ground zero, zero, if you want to do that. So those are the two platforms I would recommend for podcasting. Again, that's riverside.fm, go to blazedgroupllc.com and check out the blog um, for a link and some tips. And then Anchor is incredible for distribution, though you could record your podcast directly there as well. All right, and then the second piece, to that question, which I'm answering in reverse order, uh, is asking about the best editing apps to use for social. So I'm going to give some tips for the use of video, right? Uh, and, when, and when you say social, I'm thinking about Facebook, I'm thinking about TikTok, Twitter, uh, Instagram, obviously, but then there are a few others that are sprouting up, fan base, some others, right? So the first one I would recommend is InShot. InShot, I-N-S-H-O-T. InShot is super dope in that you can download the app for free. And, and I like the app because a lot of our video content happens to be on the app anyway. Again, if you want to take old content and repurpose it uh, to make mini vlogs or to make, um, you know, some voiceovers, you know, explaining how your trip somewhere went, et cetera, or how your speaking engagement went, right? 
you can take InShot, it's absolutely free. You can pull in content from your camera and you can slice it right there. You can add beautiful font, etc. Now this sounds very similar to what would happen with Reels because it is. Um, the functionality works exactly the same as Reels, though you get better fonts, right? You get better effects. Um, you can do some things such as adding a picture on top of a picture, right? So even the later things you can. Um, so I really do like InShot and you can do all of this for free. You can always upgrade and get added features, added filters, etc. But the free version works perfectly fine for what I typically do. I would recommend downloading a free app called Lightroom. Lightroom is amazing and it is free if you download it to your phone. It is not free. If you're using the software that's compatible with your laptop or your, your desktop, right? And what Lightroom does is it takes your pictures that you might take with your phone, with your DSLR camera, et cetera, and then it uh, allows you to edit it, right? <laughs> but what I do is I go by Lightroom presets. So there, if you like literally search like hashtag Lightroom presets, you'll find a lot of them on Instagram. I buy my presets from Instagram people <laughs> and for like two bucks, sometimes 10 bucks, you know, for 10 bucks, I think I got like 160 presets. Uh, you can download those presets into Lightroom and literally make the aesthetic of your photos incredibly beautiful. And the, and the adult thing about using Lightroom for your social media is that you can create an aesthetic for your page, right? Like a lot of times you'll go on influencer pages or people who are just very um, creative, right? And you'll see all of their pictures have this certain aesthetic to it. You know, it might have like a cream tone to it or an autumn kind of tone to it. Um, they're typically using software to, like like Lightroom and adding that extra tint and making it look really, really good. But if you download Lightroom on your phone, you can do this for free. I love Lightroom. <laughs> So uh, if you want to edit any of your pictures, I think that'll be super duper helpful. And then this is not free, but uh, you know, for your business, if you do want to step into creating commercial like videos, I mean, commercial quality videos, Vimeo is incredible. So Vimeo is essentially a hybrid of YouTube and Canva on steroids, so, right? If you think about YouTube, YouTube can house video content, right? A ton of video content. And with the link, somebody can go see it or you can download things, you know, uh, you as the creator, right? And then Canva is a platform that allows you to do graphic design, right? In a very user-friendly way. Vimeo is a hybrid of the two in that it allows you to create very robust, beautiful, eye-catching videos from templates. So you start with a template based on the style, the music, the effects that you want. You pop in your own video or some stock videos that they give you access to. And then you can create some clips that are much higher quality than reels on Instagram, right? <laughs> and it just gives your brand's premium identity, right? So whenever I'm doing events, I create my videos, my promo videos in Vimeo. Um, when I'm hosting those virtual events, I will create very dope um, video content to kind of kick off the event with. I've done pitch videos via Vimeo. I want a grant doing a pitch video uh, with Vimeo. Um, I use it for a lot of things, right? And it does have a cost, so think about that. But uh, the more that I use it, the better I get. And so, you know, time, it'll scale with me as I scale my business. So those are some apps that I would highly recommend um, that can help you kind of up the quality and the aesthetic of what you're doing on social as well as via podcasts. I hope this is helpful. Thanks.